So between these two turds, what? I got the total for you. You ready? <laughs> okay. Nineteen thousand two hundred ninety-one dollars and forty-eight cents. That's the biggest bill yet that you've ever had. What, where are you going? You can't leave. You have to pay it. I just need a minute. Okay. I'll let you out here for a minute. Welcome to Hoovies Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And today it's time to face the consequences of my very stupid actions over the last few months. Face the music, which I've been avoiding for months, and that is the massive, massive repair bills that were coming my way. I had one stay of execution a few months ago because I traded the car wizard, my Shelby GT500 2007, in lieu of repairs for, say, the 46 Chrysler and some others, but went through that very quickly, and now I have nothing that he wants other than money. So he called me up in a very good mood, offering to buy lunch, which just means he has a massive, massive bill for me today, probably having to do with the Maserati, which still needs more work apparently, but had a blown motor on arrival, and the Land Rover Evoque convertible, which also had a bad motor on arrival. But it's not just the car wizard, also the car ninja has a vehicle done for me. So this is going to be a very, very expensive day, and it's not done yet. The Range Rover isn't done yet, it has cosmetic issues. The Bentley has cosmetic issues. Uh, the Maserati has other issues and cosmetic issues. And then in addition to that, the bad decisions that I've made over at the farm are really reaping what I sow there as well. And it is getting, well, a little bit stressy. So with that, we'll go up in the Fisker Karma to the car wizards and face the music. But I'm gonna procrastinate a little bit before we hit the road in the Fisker, which has no blower motor, so no AC and plenty of other issues. I wanna procrastinate a little bit and thank Policy Genius for sponsoring this video. If you have anyone relying on your income, you need life insurance. It's that simple, and Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to find and buy the insurance you need at the right price. If something happens to me as a father of two kids, I know I can't just leave them a pile of hoopties and crippling debt, so that's why I got a life insurance policy many years ago and I sure wish I had known about Policy Genius back then because it makes what is usually a challenging process so simple. Policy Genius's technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from America's top insurers. So instead of going around from site to site, it's just a few clicks and it gives you tons of options. I know some of you probably have a life insurance policy through work, but it may not be enough to take care of your family when you are gone, so it's certainly worth checking out. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $292 per year for $1 million in coverage. Some options are 100% online and let you avoid unnecessary medical exams. With Policy Genius, their licensed award-winning agents are here to help you find the best policy for you. They work for you, not the insurance companies, and don't have any incentive to recommend one company over the other. So it's no wonder why Policy Genius has thousands of five-star reviews on Google and Trustpilot. So check life insurance off your to-do list in no time with Policy Genius. Head to policygenius.com slash moviesgarage or click the link in the description below to get multiple life insurance quotes for free and see how much you can save. Save a lot more than me with this stupidity. Hello, Wizard. Sounds like a Nirvana song, man. The noise of the ambient whatever yeah, come as don't walk are. into me. Yeah. Oh, well, you're too kind. How was your vacation? It was wonderful. It is a very happy day. So you're refreshed from your vacation in the Bahamas, your cruise, but also... There's a big payday coming. Wonderful. Okay. Well, one is done, correct? Yes, except for the front. I'll show you. You see how it's caved in over to the side here? Yeah. Everything behind there is crushed. The, the metal structure, the plastic pieces, it's all... Like the it. brackets for the bumper and such, right? Yeah. Not like a frame rail's bent or anything crazy like that. Up but in here it's just crushed. Yeah. Right. So I had a couple of bops on the nose that uh, need to be sort of pulled back out. I guess you can kind of see that the uh, this one's a little bit further than the other. So yep. um, Van Gogh can probably manage that pretty well, along with a very uh, good detail. But the big issue was under the hood. Mm -hmm. Last time I was here, it was running again. So that engine was good. Everything was fine. Yep, it runs and drives fine now. Everything's happy. All right. So I can take this home today, huh? Yes. Well, I won't take it home. I'll just take it straight to Van Gogh to get the scratch fixed, get the bumper out, mm -hmm. get it detailed, and it'll be better than when I got it. Yes. So the other car, 
that's here. I guess, well, the Grand National, of course, that's getting wrapped up. The long saga of the uh, noisy T-tops with the bad seals and things. With a little bit of rust sprinkled in, this is getting close and looking nice, huh? Mm-hmm. It's coming together. Just good old-fashioned mechanic in here. Yep. But the Maserati, you said uh, it's not done. It runs and drives. That part is done. But in the fact of getting it running and driving again, we found a whole slew of new things that are bad. Surely not. Well, this thing was dead. We've got it removed right now. Oh, because so many taillights nowadays are just LEDs without bulbs that can be replaced. So right. how much is that? I think it's two or three hundred bucks installed. That's labor and everything. It's not super expensive. For this little... Wow. Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> So I knew that the air conditioning didn't work um, in between it overheating massively. Oh my God, it's still a mess in here from the coolant tank just exploding. Yeah. Oh God. But the compressor leaves a little green puddle everywhere it goes. It's just constantly leaking. It's, it's bad. So that in itself, the compressor is like a grand from Maserati. And I've tried the aftermarket route on Mrs. Wizard's Levante, mm -hmm. and that one lasted a month and it grenaded. So I'm not doing aftermarket on these. Okay. Well, you didn't even want to do used engines, and we learned why on this one, because the first one that showed up was a core, and the place was definitely most likely trying to scam me. I actually had to pull the YouTube clout card to get out of being scammed, because mm -hmm. I'm in an unfortunate position, and you are too, to where... We can say, hey, if you don't want the publicity of a YouTube channel talking about this, you may want to make it right. And then they do after all of a sudden, you give them all the chances. Yeah. Uh, so they finally refunded my money, uh, $5,000. And in the interim, after waiting for months for a good engine from them, uh, J&J Auto Wrecking got one in. And they sold it to me for $3,000. So I actually saved two grand there, but it sounds like I'm losing it all to uh, uh, sort out the other issues, huh? Yep, there's thousands, between these two cars, there's multiple thousands of dollars of work. Wonderful. So I am assume that's in the office? Yes, and you're not going to run away from these two. I'll, this time I might just trip you and make you fall. <laughs> okay. Well, I have the tickets here. Kind of interesting, last week we had an Israeli guy from Israel. Really cool guy, really enjoyed talking to him. But he did have a comment he wanted me to tell you. Okay. He saw it on the Maserati and the Range Rover here running again, and he said, you're an absolute idiot. I agree. For doing this. I, I'm not said, insulted in the slightest. These no. several yes. foul words, a moron. <laughs> okay. Basically. Well, so, let's see how dumb I am. Let's find out. I have the bills here for you to pay, but I have a list of everything you've spent to get these two cars running. Okay. The Range Rover. This yeah. is not including the in stuff you paid for the engine. Yeah, I bought this, the engine myself on both cars. This is just us, our work here. Mm -hmm. the Range Rover is four thousand four hundred and seventy dollars and twelve cents. Because just the engine on that, there was so much other things. The that suspension it. issues. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. CD okay. Shaft and knuckle was broken. Okay. The Ghibli, you <laughs> the, did prepay on that, but still, I'm just giving the total price. Right. That you spent. Yes. $4,621.34. Well, you're consistent, but that didn't have any extra things really with it, though. No, there's $3,000 more dollars to go on that one. So, and then with the engines I paid, I like four grand for one and three grand for the other. So the grand total... I'll have the grand total after we go over what's wrong with the Maserati here. Okay, so... Headlamp bulb, that can't be too expensive, right? No, that one's not. You told me the tail light was a couple hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. AC compressor, $1,000. There's the labor to pull it all apart. The wheel bearing, and we're going to have to pull the knuckle off and press the bearing out. But that know. wasn't on when I dropped it off. Well, on the road test, it was doing fine until we had this, the actual light come on. There's a little piece of the bearing and the actual plate is actually the tone ring for the sensor. It just I see. fell apart. Okay, and then the rear O2 sensors. Mm-hmm. Which got melted by the the meltdown or whatever? Yes. It's not going to be exactly three, but two to three range for sure. The compressor, the AC compressor, like I mentioned, by itself is a grand of it. So between these two turds... What? I got the total for you. You ready? <laughs> okay. $19,291.48. That's the biggest bill yet that you've ever had. Where are you going? You can't leave. You have to pay it. I just need a minute. Okay. I'll let you out here for a minute. <laughs> I just need a minute.
What am I doing? You feel refreshed now? Ready to pay? $19,000. I mean, that's several brand new cars are less than that bill between yeah. those two hunks of junk. Mm -hmm. And that was just to fix them, not even to buy them. Doesn't count the money you spent to actually No, buy them. I spent eight grand on one and, and way too much on the other, I think around 20. That's a lot of money. <laughs> and you're in a very good mood. So, yeah, uh, all right, well, I'll pay and, and take the, the Land Rover down to get cleaned up. I'm and actually thinking about buying a new yacht. Mm -hmm. And this will definitely... What are you laughing about? <laughs> this will go great towards a down payment on that. Wonderful. Yeah, so I'll take that. Okay. It's not done yet because I have to go to Van Gogh to get that thing fixed, all the damage over there. There's a CL65 to pick up that had a lot of things wrong mm -hmm. that you'd previously fixed. And then going to get the Bailey Connell GT from the car ninjas that had the uh, airbag thing is finally fixed. But uh, holy crap. And the house tough. Ugh. All right, let's claim my prize here. Oh, God. Still smells in there, huh? Oh, that's what that pond smelled like before. It looks beautiful now, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. Blah. Happy Runs happy. good, though. Yeah. So that's a plus. Please, no more pond jumping. I'll try not to do that again. The pond <laughs> has been done. That was a one and done activity. Yeah. But. Yeah, on top of that, both of these stink. That Ghibli was a cigar smoker or mm -hmm. something, and this one, well, this one will clean up still. On the Ghibli, I actually have my ozone generator I brought. We're going to try it, see if it'll yeah. get that smell out. Wait, okay. I'm gone. I'm All broke. Right. Enjoy my money. Enjoy the Barbie mobile. Well, $7,000 later, if I'm doing the math right, actually, that's not right, more like $8,000 later, $9,000 later, uh, the wizard did do a good job of sorting this car out and all of its issues. It wasn't just the bad head gasket, which that was something somebody put stop leak in to sort of kick the can down the road, and I ended up with the big boom, obviously abusing it. There were other issues. There was a brake line leak. There was some suspension problems. So a lot of neglected maintenance, which is very common on something that was luxurious and expensive and still expensive to repair, but now cheap and 10 plus years old. So I'm the guy that dove on the grenade, and obviously there is more to do at Van Gogh. So I'll drop this thing off and they'll cosmetically sort it out for another couple of grand and then I'll sell it for <laughs> probably a $10,000 loss or something insane like that. Yeah, so, okay, Range Rover. Um, the problem is I know there is a lot more damage that I've done over at the Car Ninjas because I haven't paid him in a while and he's had uh, several of my cars. So hopefully it's not as bad as the Car Wizards though. It can't be. Ninja. Well, you look happy to see me too, but you're always happy to see me. Oh, you're happy for this to go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's all back together. Yes. So the airbag module was the, the huge saga right about here. You went through a bunch of them. Finally, it was Bentley only, and that was yeah, yeah. 2300 bucks or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the situation here when well, it comes to the lights? There's only one light I cannot shake. So. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are you talking about the low fuel? Yes. <laughs> you won't put gas in it for me? No. Okay, well I can handle that one, but uh, nice to see it all back together. This has been quite a saga. Uh, the airbag light, I knew about it. They said they were going to fix it for me before they sent it to me, but after six weeks I just got impatient. They said, we'll take two grand off the price. Not enough. It, it, it wasn't enough, yeah, just for the part, I know. Yeah, you have some bills for me, and I haven't paid you in a while, because unlike the car wizard, you let me leave. You kind of let a tab sort of stack up. No problem. And how many cars is it? Four, four cars. Uh-oh. All right, well, shall we? Yep. The first one is going to be your uh, CL65 Mercedes. Oh, I just picked that up from detail, actually. Yeah. Uh, how is the brakes? Brakes are wonderful, okay. yes. Best. So... $1,300, okay, off to a spicy start, but that's way cheaper than uh, the Mercedes factory brakes, which just the parts are $3,000. And then this so. one is your um, Maroon N6 with the uh, rear main seat. Oh, I sold that on cars and bids. and had to pick, oh, 1000 bucks. Yeah. 
Are there any of these under a thousand bucks? No. And you have your 911 Safari. Oh, yeah. That's another video coming up soon because finally the suspension lift is on, dialed in. Oh, Everything's ready to go to go off road and break it and probably come back to you. So okay. had to come to Ninja for an alignment, but it needed a little bit more tweaking and finishing and things. So how much was that? One, uh, $1,451. Whoa. Okay. I assume you're saving the best for last, huh, the Bentley? What? $5,700. Okay. Yeah, the airbag module, $2,300, $1,000 in labor. The left front axle, 500 bucks. Oil change, tires. So what's the grand total? It's the highest I've ever been here at once. Wizard said the same thing. What is it, 10 grand? A just shy $9,562.44. There's, I'm not going, I'm not going to go outside again. I knew this was coming. I hadn't paid the ninja in a couple of months, and I knew that Bentley was going to be bad. Well, the car ninja was right with a full tank of gas, no more lights, and yes, it was very expensive. I got two grand off to fix the airbag light, and it turned out to be a lot more, but uh, still, when you count for what this costs new, something like 200 plus thousand dollars, and to be, well, a little over 30,000 into it, doesn't feel too bad for something that looks this beautiful, is this comfortable. That twin turbo W12 has so much power. It is awesome. You're probably noticing I'm trying to get home before a storm hits the farm uh, because now that I have both cars fixed, the CL65 and the Billy Connell GT, I need to make a decision. It's a tough decision. Yeah, those clouds are starting to get kind of dark. And speaking of darkness, well, here's two competitors back in the day and depreciation specials the bentley continental gt twin turbo w12 all-wheel drive and the 2008 mercedes cl65 twin turbo v12 way more power much better tech more comfortable but the bentley is certainly more special feeling more like nicer luxury appointments as far as the quality of the inside and it does just look a lot more baller than the CL65 that could be mistaken for, well, any old CL. Even though this is very, very low production numbers and some serious performance. And it's not like this thing isn't nice inside as well. But my problem is, well, two problems. One, both these cars scratch the same itch. Ultra depreciated luxury barges with a big power and a back seat to haul the kids. Uh, and also, uh, financially, it's sitting on a pad right now, which is going to be the two-car garage right by the house for the cars being driven every single day. So that is another uh, $9,000 there before the concrete pad. And inside of Hoobie's Garage 3.0, we are in the next phase of construction for this, which is finishing it out. You can see it's still kind of dark. The ducting is starting to go for the heat and air conditioning, all of the lighting inside. This is $70,000 to have lights and HVAC, and also another $5,000 to get a new transformer to accommodate the extra power going in to this building. And as I've said in other videos, I was dumb and decided to just do all this all at once with the home renovations and just write checks as I go, no construction loan. And that has proved to be a really, really dumb decision. Because as I've ran out of money as these bills come in, I've been selling hoopties most recently, the Callaway Camaro, which I had no intention of selling, hence paying a lot of money for it and then paying a lot of money fixing it and then selling it no reserve and lost I don't know, seven or eight thousand dollars just needed to do that to pay bills. Both of these cars, well, I might lose a little bit on the Bentley, probably not on the CL65 because I did buy that one uh, really well, but either way, break even more or less, no matter what. And I can't get a new mortgage, a new loan, until the house is basically finished because it won't appraise out at the proper value in its current state. The master bedroom. Yeah, it is what it is. The living room isn't much better, but the big issue has been inside of the bathroom with the tile. We actually had to let some tile guys go because they were going way too slow. Uh, 
person my contractor had worked with for a very long time, very nice guys, uh, definitely very old, and uh, it took him a month to do the shower walls, just the walls of the shower and waterproof it. And it felt like everything else in the house was going to be done because it is getting close. We'd be moving into that bedroom and the tile guys would still be there for months. It didn't make any sense and finally they brought in someone else, but there's been missing tiles. We've been short on flooring every time they go to finish something, so they've been held up as well. So. Uh, yeah, can't get an appraisal on the house in this condition, so I continue to be stuck. And I also don't want to live in construction forever and ever, so I'm trying to get it all done as much as I can at once, like putting in a beach here by the pond, the ship lap, all the trees, the berms, and it does look beautiful. It's all going to be worth it at the end, even though it is considerably over budget, but it is very stressful right now. Obviously there are people with way worse problems than me. This is a wonderful problem to have that I have to sell a few cars to have basically my dream home and dream garage. So everything will work out just fine. But uh, let me know in the comments, which one would you keep over the Bentley or the CL65? And uh, yeah, speaking of, I better put them away before whatever this is blows in uh, so they don't get totaled out. I guess the insurance claim would make some money though. No, I won't do that. Thank you so much for watching.